Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about blackheads, including what they are and what they can be mistaken for. Firstly, I'm not a skincare expert, I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not someone who is paid professionally, I am just someone who takes a huge interest in researching these topics. Um, so if we just focus on the nose for a second, because mainly when you talk about blackheads or the look of pores in general, I think the nose is probably focused on the most. So when you look in the mirror, you will mainly see sebaceous filaments. Now these can look like blackheads, but they are lighter in colour. But basically, what are sebaceous filaments? Well, beneath the skin, we have tiny glands that create sebum, which is an oily substance. This basically helps to moisturise the skin, and the sebaceous filaments are structures that allow sebum to flow to the surface of the skin. Whereas a blackhead is more of a form of acne, um, they're much darker in colour, um, the, it's basically a blockage of the pore, or like a plug and this is why they can sometimes appear upraised. So whatever you do, do not squeeze either your sebaceous filaments or blackheads um, because this will cause scarring. It's also not gonna help because if you do squeeze the sebaceous filament thinking that it's a blackhead, it's just gonna come back anyway and your skin's just gonna look worse. Unfortunately, if you have oily skin, pores can appear larger. This is because of the amount of sebum inside them, but they are not a sign of your skin being unclean. However, you can work on controlling the amount of oil your skin produces, and this may make your pores look smaller. Often there is a reason your skin is oily. For example, your skin could be dehydrated. Maybe um, you're not using uh, maybe you're using too harsher products, like products that contain lots of alcohol or benzyl alcohol. Maybe you're not moisturising because you think, oh, my skin's oily, so I don't need moisturiser. So it's best to just take care of your skin as much as possible. It is important to acknowledge that any products you do use is never going to get rid of the sebaceous filament. Even if you had them professionally removed, or extracted, they will still come back because basically they're part of our face. Blackheads, however, can be treated. So my personal favorite ingredient for treating blackheads and keeping your pores as clean as possible is with salicylic acid. Um, this is something you may have heard of. Salicylic acid is made from willow bark. You can get this in different strengths. When it comes to salicylic acid, 2% is the highest percentage you will find. So if you are new to the ingredient, it's best to start with a low percentage and work your way up. Remember, this is a chemical exfoliant, so if you want to be using this, you, you're going to be doing it, you want to be using it about two to three times per week, depending on your skin type. This is not an everyday product, otherwise you're going to be over exfoliating and your skin's just going to be producing tons of oil. Um, there are also other acids you can use to help clean your pores, such as azelic acid and niacinamide. Niacinamide is more to do with the appearance, um, It actually so it makes your pores look smaller. However, it's just to note that again, Niacinamide is a very temporary solution. It's not going to help in the long run. In the long run, I think salicylic acid is probably the best one because it's going to just keep your face as clean as possible, or the pores, should I say, as clean as possible. That's the only thing that will go beneath the skin surface and really clean everything out. There are lots of articles online that talk about using benzoyl peroxide and tea tree oil but personally I find these highly irritating ingredients, especially benzoyl peroxide. It can be really drying, which obviously is not great because if you're dry, then you're gonna produce more oil. There's also another technique that I have to admit I have done in the past, which is using pore strips, baking soda with toothpaste. 
these are not good for your skin they cause irritation um, redness and they don't do anything um, chemical exfoliators are much more effective lastly it's very important to remember sun protection everyone should wear sun protection daily but it's, it's especially important if you are using chemical exfoliators such as salicylic acid azelaic acid retinol anything really um, these are going to increase your sensitivity to the sun and um, not to mention that sun is one of the worst things for your skin it's the number one cause of aging dark spots so yeah i thank you for watching and if there's anything that you want me to talk about or make another video about um just let me know and leave a comment below thank you